Now let's see the real thing. Do a 360. Yeah. And guys, we're just going to start out with a few clips like this. Just to start this video off. Just some cool clips I took here and there. On the Sherman, of course, and you can get way more footage on an EUC compared to driving around in a car. When I was in my van for all that time, you can't just stop anywhere and just take whatever footage, you know. Like you're stuck in, you know, on the road in a line of cars. You can't just get out your camera whenever you want. On the Sherman, you can anytime, whatever you see. If it's interesting, you get it. And these pelicans are pretty crazy guys. I've got a traumatic story actually, kind of traumatic, from my early childhood that involves these birds. And I'll tell you that in another episode, but it's kind of crazy. And these birds are native to Australia. And I moved to this country when I was just like a little baby. And that's when I first saw these birds. And I saw something crazy guys. And I still remember it. It's like, almost like a nightmare. And it's got me thinking, how many Shermans, I mean, how many horses are under the command of veteran Sherman? Lieutenant Sherman. Is it really, well, they say two and a half kilowatts of nominal power, so that must be like double that for peak. So peak power of five kilowatts, that's what, seven horses? Seven horses in this little thing the size of a poodle. Enough power to move a train, basically. Enough power to bring a fat man up to Usain speeds, Usain Bolt, maintain that vault. And some people might look at you on this thing and think you're a buffoon. But really, we could be on our way to the moon. This is alien styles. Go for a hundred miles. Let's check out these segways. And guys, I'm just gonna start this video with a bit of like kind of random footage, I guess. 
uh, interesting stuff that I've just seen throughout my rides. Remember I told you in the last video that I'm just taking like footage here and there for now as I'm riding and then I'll make like a full riding video. You know, one day adventure sort of thing. But for now, let's just check these out. And it's interesting, this is gonna spark a new topic or like a topic for a new video in the future where I'll talk about segways for cops and security guards or or not segways, I mean EUCs because you know you see lots of security guards and some cops riding segways and imagine if they upgraded to an EUC I reckon it'd be kind of scary to be honest with some of the shitty cops you see around imagine a guy with like a gun both hands free just like speeding around you know, it's like, could be bad, could be good. Imagine chasing down a criminal on, a, on an EUC, chasing him downstairs and all that. And then like doing a power slide into his legs or something to take him out. And with the Sherman, we've got the blue lights even, guys. Maybe that was their, maybe that's what they had in mind. Trying to market these to cops. Why do they have that blue light? You know, it's a bit weird. I f like, I never use them either because they look exactly like cop lights. I find it really strange that you see guys like Marty doing their entire ride with those lights running. The whole ride, like an hour. I mean, what's he thinking? When I, I've turned them on actually before, like I hardly ever do, but when I have, people have pulled over and they'll stop. Like, say you're, um, they've got the right of way where you're meant to wait for them, they'll wait for you because they think you're a cop. You know, they'll just st stop there and like stare at you and wait till you go by. And we're just here at the beach, chilling with the Sherman. And right here, I get some awesome footage, guys. Oh no, the sun just disappeared. That looks alright, huh? Far out, that's sick. Lost it. Fuck. And right here, guys, is where I go park in the sand, which is the title in this video, showing you how to park a Sherman in the sand. And it's a little bit windy, but it's a beautiful day, isn't it? And these beaches are pretty nice. They stretch out across the whole coast, obviously. And these, 
And these new Mustang models are pretty good, eh? I tend to prefer older style designs. I love the old Mustangs, that they're even better, but for a new design, these are pretty stylish, I reckon. You see lots of the new, like, lots of the new stuff, guys. It just looks dorky. Like, they're trying to make it look like a spaceship or something. Two of those. These dorky lights that, like, go across the whole back of the car. And here we go, guys. We're going to go park in the sand. What the hell? Park this stuff there. Don't see that every day. But it's actually it's weird that happened to me during one of my early like sand videos. Like, Um, Sherman on the beach and it's funny because it happened at the same time almost that you stride put his video up where he actually did this hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today we will do a quick review on the veteran Sherman a wheel I call the people's wheel because the Sherman engineers Sherman engineering tried their best to answer as many questions and satisfy as many demands as possible from veteran riders also a like he buried it in the sand just, you know, just to make the video. It was so weird. And it happened at the 420 mark, oddly enough, which is like... I don't know why it was, it was weird though, it was at 420 and I think on my video it was... While I was making my video, when the EUC got parked in the sand, I thought, alright, let's take this opportunity and hit up that 420. And right now I'm just going to do a little speed run on the sand, speeding past the camera. I've set up a couple of cameras. Uh, it's gonna be it for today. I thought just why not make a short video so that way I've got like some content for you guys while you're waiting for my long video because I'll make a long one soon. Well, I'm kind of working on it now. I'm still doing like getting footage here and there. I got some like I got stacks of footage I want to show you guys. I'm thinking maybe I'll wait and just put them out slowly or integrate them into other videos. I'm not sure but I'll put them out there and it's a lot, a lot of it is with my super zoom camera, the one that can zoom in like 60 times, no it's like um, 60 optical and then 4 times digital I think, so it'd be 240 in total, because you amplify the optical zoom with the digital, you know you just zoom in on the pixels really, yeah. but it can zoom in a long way so you can see lots of stuff that you can't normally see with a regular camera or even with the naked eye so every time I see something interesting I get that camera out I make sure I've always got it with me too just in case you know you never know what you might see out there even from really far away like I could guys I saw a jet ski from 30 miles away I'm not kidding 30 freaking miles I was in the mountains looking at the beach 
across the entire city of Adelaide. You know, across, from east to west. And I saw a freaking jet ski. I like zoomed in on the beach. Like I could see a little dot out in the distance. And I was like, oh, what's that? Zoomed in. And as it's zooming in, you could kind of start to see what it was. And then I was like, oh, it's a jet ski. You could see the guy holding onto the handlebars, the water, like the wake behind him. It was crazy. Like, it's amazing what you can see with that thing. Then there's even better ones too. Like, the newest version is a hundred and I think a hundred and five times optical zoom, and then the digital on top of that. But it's a it's a much bigger camera. So I I, I kind of like this one because it's compact, so it's easier to just always have it in my bag. The other one's like three times the size, so maybe it's not worth it having the extra zoom. I would like to, it'd be good to experiment with it though. Because sometimes I zoom in on stuff and I'm like, oh, I wish I could zoom in a little more, you know, just to see see what's up. So yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. I might have a, a quick one again, maybe tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys soon.